Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Elden Ring and Side Quest. I'm having so much fun with this. I hope y'all are too, because goodness, I am just having the grandest of times. Wandering around this... Giant new land, only slightly less giant than the land before. If we go fast, maybe the scorpions will leave us alone. Or maybe they stay dead. Huh. Nope. Time to leave. Actually, I don't know if I... Thoroughly glanced over here. Is there anything back here? Not really. Wait, wait, there might be a way to drop down. Ugh. I'm gonna leave anyway. Leaving. Leaving. Don't want to be here anymore. It's kind of like when you find a very large scorpion spider or whatever inside a room in your place. You leave that room, and that's their room now. You have a roommate... ...who just gets increasingly behind on rent. What was I saying? Right, having a great time. I continue to be having a very great time. Exploring... Finding new little lore bits around, seeing all the new weapons and weird enemies and new dungeons. It's just so fun having more Elden Ring to play. How's it going, ghost? Wish the other ghosts would just chill and have nice hints to say. For pity's sake, your place is in the jar. Nigh sainthood itself awaits you within. For shamans like you, this is your lot. Huh. Life were you accorded for this alone. Huh. The Whipping Hut. Pretty bad village, seems like. A whip is strewn with rotting, misshapen teeth. Filthy and seething with disease, the teeth are embedded in the whip and dose the victim with deadly poison upon each strike. As the wounds ripen, they grow inflamed and ooze pus. The flesh of shamans was said to meld harmoniously with others. Hmm. Painful strike. A chastening whip strike honed to maximize pain temporarily reduces the rate at which stamina recovers, thus does the pain encourage obedience. Definitely more dexterity. Causes poison buildup. And not really the vibes I want in a weapon. Listen, I've used a lot of weird stuff as weapons. One of my previous favorites is a sword with a thousand tiny little hands that sets stuff on fire and heals me. I think I got it from a snake guy. Yeah. Big snake guy. Everything about that sword is very weird and unsettling. But even I have to draw the line somewhere. It's very dark out here. Surprisingly little out here. Sort of an isolated, disciplinary hut. Makes me feel like I've missed something. But it gets so darn dark out here. 
I guess the combination of nighttime, realm of shadow, and also we're kind of like, well, we're not really that underneath larger outcroppings of land. It's just very dark and cloudy out. I think I see a grace fire, though. This will fix it. So we're here now. Bridge leading to the village. Pass some time. Well, it's raining now, but at least we can see. A little better. Um. Um. Oh. Somewhere. I missed that first thing. It went away. Somewhere something has broken and so too has a powerful charm. What? That's so scary. I wish I hadn't missed that first thing. Is that an event that always happens out here? Or is that like one of those weird little someone has defeated like a great rune bearer or something? I'm gonna have to check the footage for that later to see what that bit of text was. Uh, Carrie put it up on screen so people can actually see. I don't know what just happened. And now I'm all nervous. There's a lot of dogs out here. A lot more wolves than I feel like fighting. I was going to say before I got... whatever that was. Another thing that I'm liking about this, uh... new DLC map... God, they're so fast. Where did it appear? Another thing I'm liking about it is... because it is more, like... compact and tangled and layered... There's fewer big, giant, open spaces to explore. Yeah, wearing it down, but no, come on. There's fewer big, giant, open spaces to explore, which makes exploring feel a little easier. Yeah, cool, cool find. It feels a little easier to, like, uh, see the totality of your immediate surroundings and feel like, okay, I've looked this entire place over. It's not like just a big field. Not that I haven't still been missing things as I go, it just feels a little easier to get a sense for how much of this place you need to explore and how much you have or haven't yet. A little bit. Maybe it's also just having, like, more regions and kind of, like, biomes packed together. which means you're, like, running into new-looking places more often, so it's a little easier to, uh... kind of subdivide in your brain. I don't know. Do 
Too many wolves out here. That is a thing I do know. And it's very pretty. Too many wolves, though. Hang on. This looks promising. Eh. Is it, though? It is not. This is not promising. I've been tricked. Where can I get from here? <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about the jump scare birds. <laughs> Whoa. Well, there's one of those. Yep, yep. Oh, we've been noticed already. Grand. Eh. Oh, is this another one we're gonna have to... Yep. I fear we're gonna have to do more slam dunks on this one. Yep, yep, yep. Thought I was close enough to the um, spirit springs for the... Oh dear. Okay, well, this time we can make one more of these. Eh. Need a lot more embers of Mesmer, which are scattered around the ground, but I don't have... I don't have enough on me, nor do I feel like going and farming a bunch right now. You know, maybe we'll just save that guy for later. There's no urgent rush. Just mark that, hey, there's a furnace golem there. Fight it later. Feels like I can go this way, too. I think I can. Let's... Fetch runes and find another grace fire up around here somewhere to... Just have the, uh... Fast travel option, but... I have a feeling there might be another way we can go. Okay. Boing. There you are. Give. Run. I will deal with you later. No. Yeah. Come on, man. Excuse me. I said later! The disrespect. And now it's dark again. It's like nighttime and whatnot. Do you see what you've done? Go. Get out of range of big guy. Look for grace fires. Hmm. Wait. I see one. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Now let's go back. I have a good feeling about this. This way... Maybe? It's like there's nothing... Here? Well... It's a little further down than I... Anticipated. 
maybe that won't quite work the way I thought. Um, I might have been wrong. Well, that's why we grabbed this. And now we can start looking around here and the sun's out more. And there's a building. Huh. Raboth's Rise. And okay, need to find where the pile of rocks are. Hmm. Okay. Inside, maybe? Maybe? Haha. <laughs> Yeah! Spirit Spring unsealed! And also, careful, this. Oh, that's why we need the, I see. Okay. Whee! All right. Let's go for a big jump. Boing. Yes. Raboth's cannon, you say. A type of jar cannon used to fire great bolts. A masterwork of spell machinist Raboth. The power of the glint stones that encircle the barrel imbues bolts with magic damage and guides shots toward their targets. That rules. I like it. That seems a good toy for me. Also this. Raging beast. Step with the swiftness of a beast to leap high and slash foe from above. Initial step can be taken forward, backward, left, or right. Strong attack allows for a follow-up attack. Very cool. We're getting so many good toys. Just an overwhelming number of very good toys. I don't want to fight the Furnace Golem, but we should wander a little more south of here. I kind of bolted through without really looking around. Very curious to see what's up there, but one thing at a time. Be thorough and such. That's the keep, yeah? Yeah. It's big. That'll keep me pretty busy for a while once I'm in there, I bet. Anything? That, I think, just fell off the cliff. 
Hmm. Something's not right about that tree. I am no botanist. But something seems off about the tree. There really might not be a lot here other than the golem, I suppose. I'm curious what's over here. Later. We'll shoot hoops later. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Really might not be anything up here, though. It's kind of seeming like no. This is just sort of a big battlefield space. Come on! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Run! In the realm of shadow, hoops shoot back. This is not a cave. This is just a very bad place to be. Yeah. Leave. Run to the chapel. Flee for sanctuary. Wolves, I don't know how you could be so chill out here. Have you seen that thing? Alright, we got like a little... gate entrance over there. What? Uh, oh, hey! Haven't seen some of you guys in a while. Marionettes. And there was a mage tower back there, so like, huh. That is pretty. Wow. That's really cool. Also, I just had a thought. We might finally have the right angle for seeing the sort of shadow keep thing, like we saw in the painting way back when. Maybe. Might have to get closer. Yeah, I feel like we might have to get closer. Goodness, we have covered some ground though, huh? Gracious. Huge. And this is a much bigger chapel than the other ones we've... poked our head into... on the way here. I am apprehensive. Cathedral of Manus Meter, or Metir. I don't know. Cathedral. It's got a grace fire. And does not seem to be an arena, but, um... Hmm... 
And I have a cathedral key, yes. We found it. Last week. Not long after we, uh... Started traipsing around here. I guess we found a prayer room key. Church district. That's that's back from Bellarat, though, I thought. Hmm. No, I guess these are the ones from Bellarat. I don't know if this is the church district, though. Knock, knock. Hey. It's unlocked. And... Boy, this feels dangerous. But, now I can't attack in here, so... Okay. Hello? For a place where I can't attack, there sure are a lot of bloodstains. Who are you? Well, we don't often receive visitors. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. Thanks for saying it, it out loud. A pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, Chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. Ooh. I might have an idea of what to be doing with this. And maybe that? Map to old ruins received. Check in inventory. I just might. Yes. Use at a hallowed ruin to sound a hanging bell. A pale blue necklace made from a thin, elongated stone hollowed out from the inside. Use at a hallowed ruin to sound a hanging bell. It was a teaching of Count Emir. The fate of the one who sounds the hanging bell will be guided by the stars. Interesting. Okay. Um, a simple old map, faded and dirty, acquired from Count Emir, High Priest. Indicates the location of a hallowed ruin. I only wish to be of service. Mm-hmm. Where might this be if I were to check? Oh. I see. Uh, maybe I should check the map more closely. I think that's just showing me the one to the south. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, um, do you want to explain yourself? The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, one's fate will be guided by the stars. I only wish to be of service, to help those who fight for their purpose. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter, are you not? Yes, but... You still seem sketchy. Is something the matter? I've given you a map to the hallowed ruin. Oh, I suppose you expect a lesson of me, do you? I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous. For power. For truth. For clarity, really, but, um... I appreciate it. I'm too stupid, sir. I am a glintstone sorcerer. We study the stars and examine the life therein. Are you familiar with our findings? Long ago, we began as stardust, born of a great rupture far across the skies. We, too, 
are children of the greater will. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? And yet, none can fathom its implications. Its utter brilliance. Huh. Well, you do teach some things. If you hadn't somehow learned Glintstone Pebble by now, there you go. I think even I can cast that one. Great Glintstone Shard, Phalanx, Carrion Phalanx, Carrion Retaliation. This, I think, is the only new one, and even that may not, this may not be new. I think it's new, though. Miriam's Vanishing. Sorcery of a preceptor who served the Carrion royal family, used to conceal oneself in a Glintstone haze, reappearing after a few seconds have passed. Directional inputs determine where one will reappear. The curator of the study hall was such a mastery of this sorcery that it now bears her name. This might, this one might have been in the base game, and I'm just forgetting. Didn't really do a lot of casting, did I? Well, nice meeting you, surprisingly. Oh yes, do mind your feet around the church. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. The... What? Is something the matter? Here to squeeze another lesson out of me. No, but what? Mind your feet. Now I have to find who on earth you're talking about. Do you have a pet ant? Hello? Hmm. Whoever you're talking about, I'm going to find them. You can't just say something like that and expect no reaction. Ah, you're probably not um, who he was referring to. You're very intense looking, though. I have no interest in small talk. My only concerns are the concerns of Count Emir, and you are not among them. I guess I'm grateful. If you were concerned with me in some way, I feel like... I should feel concerned. You look... intimidating. Only, there is one thing I will say. Okay. Count Emir's kindness is a gift. Should you cross him, you will sorely regret it. Hence the... Blood stains on the floor, I assume. Be gone. There is nothing more to say. I feel like there is, though. The... The boy he mentioned... I'm trying to watch my step, but I have to know what on earth I'm looking for. Amir, this is going to keep me up at night. Maybe this is your idea of a joke, and it is a pretty good little prank. Well, um... I can't find anything. Maybe out here. You've... He handed me a tool 
to go and interact with one of the most compelling and mysterious, interesting places we've encountered anywhere in these games. But now I can think of nothing else. Is it the bugs? Are those what you're talking about? Explain! I am baffled. Let's go outside. Maybe I just need some air. I entered this place extremely intimidated and I leave it very confused. It's a very cramped graveyard. Well, um... Running around here, being baffled, is not achieving anything. What say we take this new toy, which we have been gifted from a stranger out of the kindness of their heart, with no ulterior motive. And let's try using it in the big, cool, scary place and see what happens. What say? I think let's. Bug, I'm going to need you to leave me alone in order to, um... Okay, cool. Well, let's go find out. Oh my goodness, bug. Go. You. Come down here. You're the worst. Eh. Just like real life. Yeah. Die. Thank you. Anyway, right. We have terrifying places to be. It's very foggy here today. Can we clear the fog a little? Maybe. I'm so grateful they let you do this. Well, it's not much better, but... Slightly better visibility. I'll take it. Let's scoot through here right quick. I'm definitely not fighting every hand or lamprey on the way in. Too many. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm expecting I've been very set up by being given this item. But I have to know. The curiosity is far too strong. I mean, I can't not. What if we learn something? About this place? Let's sound the hanging bell. Oh. Um... That's less than I expected. 
to happen. Huh. Crimson colored talisman patterned after an Erd tree seed greatly boosts HP restoration. The Erd tree seed of this talisman was presumed to be an object of myth. This age old artifact also depicts the two fingers, perhaps harking back to the birth of the Erd tree. Which that's pretty good. I was just expecting more to happen. So hang on. I only wish to be of service. Use at a hollowed ruin to sound a hanging bell. It was a teaching of County Mirror. The fate of the one who sounds the hanging bell will be guided by the stars. So we've done that now. I guess we just go back and talk more. Right? Because... I'm not getting the impression that anything else has changed out here. It's not like opened up a passage or a cave or... brought something big and scary out to kill us, which is kind of what I was expecting. Or that it would like warp me somewhere super dangerous. Hmm. Well... Let's go back and ask about it. This guy's really doing a number on my brain today. Watching my step. Feeling a little foolish for doing so. So, uh, do you want to explain some more, please? <laughs> there you are. The exalted timbre of the bell has reached these ears of mine. Gracious, the starry sky is wondrous tonight indeed. Only your fate shines brighter. Now, these are for you. Another ruins map. And beloved Stardust. Think nothing of it. I have made my decision to be of help. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. These are big questions. Well, one of these is a much bigger question than the other. Um, let's start small. Tell me about your companion over there. Ah, you met Yulan. Well, I hope that she behaved, at least. The poor girl has overcome grave misfortune. Her tongue can be sharp at the best of times, but don't think that makes her a bad person. <laughs> it's no surprise her little sister, too, has a heart of gold. And who might that be? Fine, keep your secrets. Tell me about the nature of the world. I fear that you have borne witness to the whole of it. The conceits, the hypocrisy of the world built upon the earth tree. The follies of men. Their bitter suffering. Is there no hope for redemption? The answer, sadly, is clear. There never was any hope. They were each of them defective. Unhinged from the start. Marika herself. And the fingers that guided her. And this is what troubles me. No matter our efforts, if the roots are rotten, and we have little recourse. What are your opinions of Mikola? Ever young Mikola saw things for what they were. He knew that his bloodline was tainted, his roots mired in madness, a tragedy if ever there was one, that he would feel compelled to renounce everything when the blame lay squarely with the mother. Hmm. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. Map to old ruins received. Check it. Okay. Also this, though. Shortens casting speed for sorcery and incantations by the utmost, but increases damage taken. Oh. A talisman depicting a wizened hand gently gripping a glintstone. Count Ymir was known for his recitations. 
One need only envision the romance of the stars above with adoration for stardust in one's heart to become a great sorcerer. Do so, and you will know love. And yeah, that's the other set of finger ruins over there. A simple old map, faded and dirty. Indicates another hallowed ruin apart from the one shown on the first map. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. I guess they will. I guess that's a place I'm eventually headed once I can get there. It's a little tricky to get a read on you as souls and PCs go. You're interesting, though. Oh, hello. Is something the matter? Please explain the watching my step thing. I, 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 please. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. Yeah. Fine. Do you have anything else to say? At least. How did you... Did Count Emir reward you with that? Hmm. Then I see you have gained his trust. And therefore mine. Oh, good. I am Yolan. The knight is yours now to wield. Ooh. Cool. Don't get the wrong idea. We are neither friends nor confidants. Oh. I am merely honoring Count Emir's wishes. You know, I'll take it. Enough of you. All right, all right, I'm going. She's warming up to me. Well, we've been given a lot to think about. I don't know what my next specific objective should be. I should poke around the rest of this. It looks like that gate I found will lead... Well, I guess I don't know for sure. It seems like the sort of thing that's going to lead into the keep. But maybe not. How do you get down here? Hmm, or down here for that matter. Mysteries. Seems like we're going to have to get through the keep to manage to get over here, so this quest is probably not getting continued for a little bit. And at a certain point, if this is just leading us inside the keep, then I might as well just go in through the front door and see what's down here. There's still so much. Which I'm excited about. Well... I guess we'll see some more next time. Let's go outside. It's so dark here. Dark and confusing. I don't have a high enough intelligence stat for this place. And the people in it. <sighs> well, thank you all again for watching. I will see you next week for a lot more exploring. By then, I'll have figured out a direction. <laughs> have a good weekend, y'all. Goodbye.